A very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our Amrishri Patanti evening session. So let's start our quiz uh, straight away, deep dive. We start with uh, question number, the sentence number one. These panels are called pannello integrativo. It means these panels are integrated with a sign which is found on top of the head. So whenever you see 0, 24, it means whatever the sign is, is valid 24 hours. If it says 7.30 to 19 hours in the evening, it means the sign below on top of the head is valid from 7.30 to 7 in the evening. It's called il pannello integrativo. That's a panel rappresentato in figura B, which is shown in figure B. Indica, it indicates in quali orari si può circolare a fari spenti. So showing you which timings you can drive with your lights off. So there is no such thing as timings of the lights off. It's falso. Okay, so obviously, once again, il pannello integrativo rappresentato in figura B indica in quali ore si può circolare a fari spenti with the spotlights off. Is false. There is no such sign. Okay, next. Now, any sign that is red and pointing towards the sky, it says, oh my God, there's a danger. That means after 150 meters, there is some kind of a danger coming. What do you see here? You see a big fat arrow that is your road. That means your road is a main road. And a small thin arrow on the left, that's a small lane coming from the right side. The fact that it's drawn thin is to indicate it has lesser importance. So it is, you have the right to go. They, you don't have to wait for them to come in the middle. Then why is this a danger, you would say? The danger is that even if you have the right to go, it does not give you the right to speed. You still have to row, slow down and make sure that the person who's supposed to give you the right to go first, the yield, is also willing to do so. Because sometimes they are out of, they're not thinking and they move ahead and then you bang them. You will say, oh, I was right. What does it matter being right? Because afterwards, what will happen is, you have all the issues of you know, insurance papers, call up, you must repair your own car. It'll be away, taken away for 10 days for repair. So you still have issues. You can be right, be happy in your heart. At least I was not wrong, but that is not a big thing. You should avoid accidents anyway, okay, despite of the fact you're right or wrong. Uh, Adi Hamen, are you understanding or am I speaking too fast for you? Adi Hamen? Adi Hamen, Adi Hamen, do you hear me? Put your microphone on. I'm hearing you clear. Okay. So I was asking, are you understanding what I'm saying? Because I, I see you're busy, but are you figuring out if there is some reason you want me to go slower, let me know, okay? If you want me to speak. So anyway, that's what oh, I want to do. Thank oh, you. Okay, okay. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Now, this is a traffic light. Traffic light is called semaforo, if you did not know, okay? La luce rossa accesa del semaforo. It means the red light that is on of this semaforo, on saying it allows the impegnare l'incrocio. Impegnare means to make use of. You can go ahead and use the crossroad. When there are two roads meeting, saying you can move ahead even if the light is, the light is red. Con molta prudenza. Molta prudenza means with a lot of caution. A condizioni che, on one condition that, no ci siano altri veicoli o pedoni. There aren't any other vehicles or pedestrians. But this is false. With red light, you can't go anywhere. So this is false. Okay. Il conducente di autovettura. Conducente means driver. Charles, are you understanding everything? Because yeah. if, since I don't see you writing, I'm happy that you know so much Italian that you do not require to write the translation of all this. Glad to know that the audio. Coming quite prepared. So, conducente means a driver. Autovettura means car. That's what, what you would want to drive. It's a car. Deve prevedere. He must foresee la difficoltà di valutazione della vision. Difficoltà di valutazione means the difficulty in evaluating. Difficoltà di valutazione means difficulty in evaluating what? La velocità del proprio veicolo. The velocity, the speed of your own car. Who has difficulty? The parte di un ciclista, a cyclist, is unable to figure out how fast you're moving towards him. Trovandosi sulla stessa corsia di marcia. He's on the same lane, driving lane as you. Che si accinge a svoltare a sinistra. Who's ready to turn left. Accinge means, there's a word. For example, <clears throat> if I'm in a swimming pool, I'm in the diving board, and I'm, in the, I'm jumping and I'm in the position to jump anytime and go dive. So if I'm ready, I'm a changere. I'm, any second, I'll be, 
I'll be jumping. So that is a changer. That means not only you're ready, you're physically at the point of doing it at that moment. It's a changer. Eh? So it's saying a change as voltare a sinistra. He intends to turn left. And this is vero. So it's saying it's true. It's very hard. You remember, if there's a two vehicles, a very fast car or a very slow car, both of them have difficulty because if both of them are moving at different speeds, high and low speed, each of them have a difficulty in evaluating how soon these vehicles will approach close to each other. It's normal. It's um, the, the normal dynamics is like that. Okay, People have a difficulty. <clears throat> so once again, I'll read it for the sake of those who uh, are listening. Il conducente di un'autovettura deve prevedere la difficoltà di valutazione della velocità del proprio veicolo da parte di un ciclista che, provandosi sulla stessa corsia di marcia, si accinge a svoltare se ne è in left. Proprio means your own. Proprio. If I ask you, Hamid Abdullah, how are you coming to the motor? Uh, how are you coming to somebody's party? You will say, yo, vengo con la propria macchina. I'll come with my own car. Proprio means your own, okay? Mm -hmm. Next. Now, these are called delineatori. They are at the, at the border of the roads to highlight any kind of a danger that could be otherwise gone unseen. Now, if you see there are, if, you, if, your, if your spotlight hits on this and it illuminates as if it's illuminated, it's a simple white and black painting, but it shines, okay? So uh, what happens when you see that you're showing arrows going left and right, which means what? You obviously are at a crossroads where you can either turn right or left. It's a crossroad in the form of T. So this is delineated or figurato alle punte delle frecce. The arrowheads are pointing. Punte delle frecce, the arrowheads are pointing. E segnalano le direzioni possibili. They are indicating which directions are possible. And this is vero. Okay? Once again, anybody needs further explanation? Uh, need to, if required. Hello. 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 Nice to see you, Jules. Okay. Musa, good evening to you as well. So this is uh, vero. Vera. Se un infortunato della strada, unfortunate. Why is he unfortunate? Because he is a victim of a road accident. Ha riportato, what has happened, the road accident has bought him. What has he bought him? Fractures of RT. RT means limbs. His limbs are broken. Hands and legs are called RT. Bisogna chiederli di muoverli. You must ask him to move the broken limbs to evaluate the type of wound. E valutare il tipo di lesione to evaluate what kind of a wound it is and that is false so you do not need to ask him to move he will you know when the bones are broken no matter how big and strong and muscular you are they cry like babies if you touch their heart so don't there there's no hero when somebody's bones are broken you can't ask him to move okay the tears will come out of the eyes so this is false now, crossroads. Crossroads, how do you know on which sequence the cars will go? Now, you know that that is here the sign, dare precedenza, yield, yield. That means automatically these two cars are blocked. In any crossroad, a car that can move ahead is a car that during the whole movement of the crossroad, nobody intersects his arrow from the right side, his direction. So, I will teach you how to do this. Look at this. When a situation like, like this arrives, you know this, these two cars are blocked. So you must make first these two cars deal with each other. So when H is going through the cross, nobody's inter intersecting from the right side. And when the L is transferring, nobody's intersecting L as well. So H and L will go together and the first. And the first was to move. They just go boom, they're gone. First move, both of them gone together. When they are gone, then you must fight, make the, these two cars deal with each other. So if O would try to move first, then B would bang it from the right side. So O can't move until B hasn't gone, and then B will go and then O will go. So if I ask tomorrow, Charles, can you show me the sequence of the square? I want Charles to be very sure and say, uh, in this situation, L and H will go together, then B and then O, that is the sequence, okay? 
So one thing is to learn the sequence of the cars. And other thing is to figure out what the sentence is saying. You can be a champion of, of the freeing the squares, yet make a mistake because these guys are champions in confusing you. They, they're paid for that. So uh, I always tell my students, don't bother reading all the spice up till here. Start reading from the first capital alphabet. Veicolo o impegna incrocio per primo. O is the first car to move ahead. E si ferma al centro di esso. And he will stop in the middle of the center of the square. It's falso. Nobody, O is not going to be the first one to move. And it's already falso. Now, signale stop is universal. Universal all over the world. It is like this octagon red. It may be written in Arabic or other languages, but still it means stop in all the languages. So, signale raffigurato preannuncia. This, nisha, this uh, sign is announcing beforehand. Preannuncia means warning beforehand. Obligo di fermarsi e dare la precedenza. Your obligation to fermar, stop the car and give way. Nei sensi unici alternati. Sensi unici alternati is a, a special kind of a road situation where a two-way road it becomes narrow and both the cars can't go together. So one of the one after the other, they will go. These are called alternate one-way roads. But this is not senso unico alternato. You all must have seen on a regular crossroad you find this stop sign. So this is falso. Signale da figurato preannuncia obbligo di fermarsi e dare precedenza nei sensi unici alternati is falso. Next. Now, a road sign, uh, any sign that is bo the border is red, that means if, you, if you're driving a car and if you see a sign like this and you see a picture in the middle, that means on that road you're driving, that vehicle is not allowed to drive. Now, you can see there is a man driving a horse chariot, but it doesn't have to be a horse. It could be a a donkey, mule, or uh, whatever. Nah? So, or it could be an elephant for that matter. Basically, this road, you can't take any vehicle that has been pulled by any animal, any camel, it could be camel carried. So, segnale raffigurato indica, so this is called segnale di divieto. Divieto means the signs that forbid you, they don't allow you to do something. Saying, uh, in segnale raffigurato indica, Una strada riservata ai carri agricoli. Carri agricoli means these are, um, these are uh, like small like trucks and tractors of farm, farmers. So the, the, feed, the uh, vehicles used in the field, okay? So it, it is reserved, it's saying it's reserved for carri agricoli, ch chariots or uh, carts that are used in, the, in, the, in your field, in your agriculture. So this is falso. It just, uh, it's not, first of all, it's not a road reserve for anything, but a road that is forbidding any vehicle that is pulled by animals, point. Nothing more and nothing less. <clears throat> now, if there is anything that you want me to repeat, you may say so. If you're all silent, I'm happy all of you understanding. Jude, is that right? Am I uh, right to assume you're understanding? Because otherwise I would stop and explain. This is a live class. It's not a video lesson going on. So you, you can intervene, okay? Okay. Oh, uh, this uh, sign A, B, and C, let me tell you first of all what this is. You will find this sign, this traffic light, directly adjacent to your own traffic light. Okay. So imagine if your traffic light, and this is a road turning right, and your car is here, and it is green, yellow, and red. It's green to you, and suddenly either a is blinking or B is blinking or C is blinking. You know what that means? Is that uh, you may move if you want to turn right. Be careful. You can go ahead. But on turning right, you'll be finding people over here. If there is a yellow blinking light of a human being, it means there are people crossing the road. Let them go first and then carry on. If there's a cycle blinking, it means the road that you're turning in right in, Right, that you have a right to go, but please first let the cycles move. They're in the middle of the road, they'll move on. Same thing is that usually yellow would not go on. So it's saying luce jala lampe jante. Yellow light that is lampe jante means it's blinking. Blinking lights are called lampe jante. Indita a moderare la velocità. Now, A, the yellow in Italy, in the road, in our traffic language. A uh, yellow blinking light always is an indication of some kind of a danger, so you have to re reduce your speed. It could be anywhere. 
or either there'll be a red fixed light or a yellow blinking light. Both of them are saying, indicating danger, be careful, slow, slow down, okay, all of them. And this is modarare velocità means to reduce your velocity, and that is true. Le cinture di sicurezza means safety belt or seat belt that you put on. Devono essere, it must be utilizzate, they must be used, anche dai passeggeri di sedili posteriori delle autovetture, even by passengers sitting on the back seat of the car. And yes, of course, that is true. Stanley, good evening to you. Well, can you put your microphone on and a video on so I can greet you? Stanley, hello. Stanley, good evening. Okay. Your video is on. Now put your mic on. Your microphone on. Hello, good evening, Stanley. Good evening. <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Now, Stanley, can you see my face? Uh, but I can see you. I can't, but again, I can see you. But Good, I can't but see anything. You can't see anything else? You cannot see the screen? Okay, I can see the screen now. Good. So this is a school. Find your place to sit down somewhere and keep your video on all times and make sure that your face is visible to me from chest to head, just like a passport picture. Thank you. Okay, I'm just closing for work now, so I just about to chance. So let me enter. No problem. Oh, no, no, you're looking very good. Nobody's going to judge you, but what if you came back from work? Doesn't matter. Put your microphone off. Uh, okay, thank you. The word utilizzate, uh, if you ask me a question, then give me. No, uh, Stanley, you don't need to change your clothes in front of us. You put your microphone off, the video off. When you're ready, put your mic on. Uh, all right. Now, utilizzate means used. 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 Should be used by passengers sitting on the back seat. Use use what? To use what? Sorry. To use anything. Utilizzare. For example, now, stai utilizzando una penna. You're using a pen to write. Utilizzare means to use. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, seatbelt must be used also by the passengers sitting on the back seat. And that is true. Now, the, this is the, it's called St. Andrew's Cross. Croce di Sant'Andrea. You will find it usually only in, a, in an area that there are train tracks and there's a road and there is no barrier between them. So when this, there is only one red cross. It means that there's only one train track going. If there is a double Doppia Croce di Sant'Andrea, double cross of St. Andrews, it means there is at least two or more than two train tracks. So you have to judge on your own. There is no barrier there. So it says, segnale raffigurato e indica che la linea ferroviaria ha solo un binario. So this sign is indicating that the, the train tracks only have one train track only, the, the, the passage. But it's falso. It's more than one. Okay, so it's falso. Next. Remember, it's called Croce di Sant'Andrea. Now, here once again, uh, Ernest, can you examine the square again with sequence that says... Uh, these will be empty. Yes, uh, I think the D will go first. D and yeah. E and S contemplative, they will move. Before very, good. very good. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. I'm very happy. Exactly. Very well said. Precise to the point. D first, E and S contemporarily, and then A. And the, the, thing, the sequence is saying, veicolo D ha obbligo di dare la precedenza a E. D has obligation to let E go first, but that is false. So like Ernest said, that is not the sequence and it is false. So we are moving on. Okay, now next. Uh, Charles, have you done quiz on your own also before? Do you know these things I'm teaching? Yes, I know some. I have done some exams. So like I've done one exam already. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you're the one of the people who already got way ahead. Sorry, didn't get you. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, got it, got it now. Now the word sistema di ritenuto per bambini. Now, what is this? These are uh, the kid seats, the baby seats that we have on our cars. Now, what is it saying? They are divided in various sections depending upon their weight and size of the baby. You see this? It shows you uh, three, 13 kilos, this is a size, 18 kilos, 90, 18 kilos, 36 kilos, 
25, 36. And uh, so basically, it, for every size and every weight, there is a different kind of a seat available. You say, no. So that's what it's saying. The sen sentence here says, I sistema diritta per i bambini, this uh, children's seat, sono classificati, they are classified in groups, in funzione, on what basis are they classified? Del peso, that means the weight of the child, uh, peso del bambino, weight of the child, che possono accogliere, that it can accommodate, and it's vero, okay? Mm. The next. Inquinamento atmosferico, that means environmental pollution. Prodotto da veicoli, uh, that is produced by the vehicles, scompare del tutto, totally disappears. Scompare means to dis disappear. Please write down if you don't know what scompare means. Scompare. Scompare means to disappear. Now, it, it disappears totally, accelerando fondo. Accelerando fondo means you put your foot under, till the end on the gas. Accelerando fondo means put your race till the end. Fondo means till the bottom. Press your foot till the bottom, full gas. Perché alta temperatura, because the logic is saying, because high temperatures fa consumare in fretta il corbudante. It consumes very quickly the petrol. High temperatures consume petrol quickly. But that is obviously the reason why there is a world pollution, environmental pollution, so this is false. Okay, it's, that is not true. Anybody who has a little bit of logic knows this is not true, false. Now, these lines on the floor, these are called corsia di canalizzazione, ya corsia di preselezione. It means that this is to channel the traffic, or you can select beforehand. Preselection is selecting beforehand. So now you know there are broken lines. So as long as, for example, if Charles' car is here, he realizes he must actually go right so he can change his lane and come here and come here. Now, if Hassan Kamran's car is here and he intends to go left, till the lines are broken, Hassan can change. But if Hassan comes here and he realizes, oops, I actually want to go left, Hassan Kamran has no choice but to go either straight or turn right. And because if he's made a mistake, he must continue the mistake. He cannot cause a havoc when the lines are continuous. Continuous lines should be like a wall to you. This is a sentence I, I make my students repeat again and again. If I ask any student, what should a continuous line seem to you? You should say, it looks like a wall. It may seem like I'm teaching like children, but remember, it will help you when you're giving your exams in the quiz. You'll thank me that I made you repeat like babies. That is like a wall for you, okay? So frecce direzionali in figura obbligano a seguire le direzioni indicate. Frecce direzionali means arrows that are showing the directions are forcing you, obliging you to follow, seguire le direzioni indicate, follow the, the, the lines that are indicated. Anche se le strisce, even when the lines are of the, of the lanes are discontinuous. I just told you, I told Hassan Kamran can change if they are discontinuous. Only when it's continuous, can't change. I just give an example of any one student. I purposely take the names. I want to make sure all of you are alert as much at least as I am in teaching you. Stay e equally awake. So when I call your names out, you just, it just gives you a little bit of, that's why I call me. So this is false. So tell me, Abdullah. Uh, you know, I have one question. You know, there is, uh, if the line is here, this is like a resto or if there is no any sign? You have to stop, huh? Yeah, that is a trash, it's a trash transfer sale the arrest. So that's where the cars must stop. If there is no one inside, you have to stop. If no, if there is that is another question now. Because if you're asking in this pretext, you're confusing the question. I know what you're saying, but that's another picture. Otherwise, I'll give you wrong information. Have wait, I'll tell you if it comes again, okay? But that is trisha transfer sale the arrest. So where you would stop if there is a traffic light or if there is a stop sign or if there is a police. Otherwise, you don't have to stop. Okay. Next. A... Il sorpasso, to overtake a car. Abdullah, if your, your answer is given, you can put your hand down. Okay. In prossimità di un dosso. Close to dosso. Dosso is any road that goes up and then goes down. Hump. It's a hump. 
it's allowed I think it's allowed to overtake in the dot so consent you know se kare jata hai senso unico if the road is one way yes if the road is one way you can because you know why we don't overtake we have fear that a car from the front will bang you but if it's a one way that fear is taken away we don't have that fear and say so this vero you are allowed to overtake if the dosto is one way next gli specchi retrovisori specchi means mirrors retrovisori means rear view mirrors we have one in the center two on the side laterally contribuisce they contribute alla visione panoramica that means your 360 degrees view okay i won't go all around but basically it means turn around it shows you all around 360 degrees panorama of the driver and he say yes it enables you to see almost you can see the front and you can see the rear side that's true so please write visione panoramica means all 360 degrees all around it shows all around the car okay, because the front you can see through the windows and the rear you can see with mirrors so driver is able to see everything front and back i'm waiting for those who are writing visione panoramica please remember Stanley are you you just came back from work are you out again No no the, the time I join you people I just uh, finish uh, finish work now so I'm a bag away home so Oh okay okay good good very good so I'm, I'm here with you guys very good so I hope you can still follow the class and it make It's always like that so yeah. you know I told you everything the, the situation Stanley, Stanley I appreciate any effort that you're doing it will be rewarded you'll find the results at the end people have to sacrifice sometimes to get something you must sacrifice something you know so yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah. It. don't worry i appreciate i commend you for that put the microphone off thank you thank you very much now this is again a, 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 a red, uh, any red sign it tells you 150 meters afterwards there is a danger what is a danger uh, well, let me tell what this means i have not explained explicitly pay attention rex now uh, it means the car the road you're driving in after 150 meters there'll be tram tracks crossing across your area going intersecting left and right and there is nobody controlling it there's no police telling you to stop there is no traffic light also you must be your own judge to be extra careful signa presenza del segnale raffigurato in the presence of the sign il sorpasso dei tram è vietato esclusivamente ai motocicli the overtaking the tram is forbidden only for motorcycles first of all it is not forbidden to overtake a tram you can overtake a tram from both the sides left and right if the uh, road is wide enough and uh, it's saying only for motorcycle i told you write on the word exclusivamente among the small column i tell my students to make a column of poisonous words they are not poisonous but they usually tend you to uh, huh what do you say exclusivamente means exclusively it's an english word like an english word exclusively for motorcycles only for motorcycle but uh, what i'm trying to say jude is that if you see exclusivamente you must worry that 98% this will be falso what it means you should be knowing that these are the words that make a sentence turn into falso okay that's my trip my tip to you is to understand fast okay so this is falso e vietato it is forbidden in quanto means because please make sure in italian language the word in means inside quanto means how much but in quanto used together it means because if we don't know that it's a good time you should write because costituisce pericolo o intralcio per la circolazione because it creates danger or hindrance a blocking to the circulation fermare momentaneamente you must stopping the car momentarily a lungo il uh, veicolo lungo il margine destro you stopping your car on the right side of the carreggiata senso unico of a road that is one way there is no law forbidding you to stop on the right side temporarily to a nice picture you can stop there is no such law so this is falso he's saying it's vietato it's forbidden because it'll be a danger or hindrance to traffic wrong it doesn't cause any other danger no is it blocking any place traffic you're stopping on the right side for momentarily it's allowed so one second sentence is e vietato in quanto costituisce pericolo o intralcio per la circolazione fermare momentaneamente un veicolo lungo il margine destro di una carreggiata a senso unico and it's falso going on 
limite massimo di velocità it means maximum speed limit su strade extra urbane secondarie in extra urbane secondarie that is one of the four sections of road na the that are outside the city center e 100 km per auto veicoli fino a 3,5 tonnellate is 100 km per hour for vehicles that weigh up to 3.5 tons and the answer is wrong because the right answer is how much is the speed limit at extra urbana secundaria rex 90 very good very good it's false because it's 90 well done La striscia bianca discontinua in figura. The broken line that you find in the drawing si divide la strada da una pista ciclabile. It divides the road by the cycle lane. But it's not a cycle lane. It's a simple road. It's dividing the road in two various corsias or driving lane. Hence, it's false. Now, this is called, this is segnale di indicazione, indicating you when you can park and when you cannot park. Okay. Now, signali raffigurato, this very easy, it just shows, it literally tells you, you can park from 7 o'clock till 9 o'clock in the morning. And, and you can see it's actually telling you not to park, it's the way to the parking, so it's false. So you're not allowed to park from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock in the morning. After 9 o'clock you can park, okay? So this is false. Proiettori a luce abbagliante. Please write down if you don't know. It means high beam light. High beam light. We uso abbagliante high beam light. È necessario, is necessary. Fuori di centri abitati, outside the city center, quando, when illuminazione pubblica manca, if the public lights are missing, manca means missing, e non si incrociano altri veicoli, and you don't find any uh, cars coming across from the other direction, then it's necessary that you use your abaliant. Yes, this is one of the only situations where you're officially allowed to use your abaliant, and that is vero. Prima di procedere, before, start, before you start, proceed, sostituzione di una rota, uh, changing of your tire. If your tire has a puncture and you must change the tire, Bisogna azionare il freno di stazionamento. You must pull the handbrake e inserire la prima marcia and insert the first gear or the reverse gear. Yes, before, before you want to change the tires, you must pull your uh, handbrake and put the car in either first or second gear. I'm oh, sorry, first or reverse gear. And this is Vero. Uh, now, have I showed you the video of how to change the tire? Anybody has seen it? If yes, you raise your hand. You haven't? Then uh, it'll be uh, Emma Zai. Yes, sir, yeah. You're not in this class. I'm asking okay. for the English people, no. <laughs> you are a guest in this class, remember. You are, you are added attraction. You're not one of the students. Okay, so okay. Okay. now let me tell you, uh, I, I think now it'll be a good time for us to stop here for a minute and if i let me show you the video there are certain things i want to touch and there are things i want to tell you cover by video is changing the tires uh aqua planing abs these are things some of the videos okay so i i some some time or the other i will show you right now i want to show you some basic principles that you can note down what you need to know when you are so this person will tell you in Italian, but I will stop his video now and then and tell you what he's saying and you have to write down because I'll tell you only that that you need to know in the quiz, okay? Uh, Hassan Kamran, you can adjust your camera like like the mine, like mine, like you're from Chester, perfect. This is a, thank you. So with your permission, I'll now exit and show you. There you go. I am so excited because I just released my brand new webinar on how you can scale your business to seven or even eight figures using laser targeted YouTube ads. Now, maybe you've seen some of my content before, some of my previous webinars. This is completely new and updated for 2022, the strategies that work the best right
these people are hammering me with this publicity and I have a, I have used a clean by ad blocker. I wonder why it is still showing me an ad. It should show me an ad. Here. Now going into the new year, I'm so excited to show you exactly how you can scale your business to seven or even eight figures using laser targeted YouTube ads. Horrible. No, no, come on. So this is not going to happen. I'll not uh, wait here. I'll, I'll just make sure because I have a special system to block the ads and this wasn't working. I wonder why. And, Okay, I put it on again because there was a. Remember one thing: if a tire is punctured, your steering wheel will pull the car towards the same direction where the punctured tire is. Okay, because as question comes in the quiz, it says your car will pull on the opposite side where the tire is not punctured; it's other way around. Remember, to start to change a tire, you must find your car in a level ground, steady ground, not muddy road, a fixed ground, level ground. Let your passengers get out of the car and ask them to stand on the footpath or somewhere away from the road. And then you will start the procedure. Allora, normalmente la nostra ruota di scorta si trova sotto questo piano del baule. Quindi dobbiamo Remember in Italy, the spare tire uh, is called rotino di scorta. Rotino means a small tire. It's slightly smaller in size and also narrower, just to make sure it's different than the other tires. Because in other countries, when they don't have this distinction, what happens is when the tire is punctured, they use the stepney, the fifth tire, and they forget after that to replace and you know repair the tire. So they have a second puncture. And then they go to find out, oops, they forgot a lot and you didn't repair it. So the law in Italy, make sure that the fifth tire is never the same as the other tire. It has a yellow sticker on top of it and uh, it's smaller than the other. And you're supposed to keep it for a couple of days time. You can't use for more than two, three days. The police will see you for more than a week. He'll stop you and give you a fine. And one more thing, you know, how far, how fast can you drive when you have a spare tire? Who knows? Answer is... Uh, no, don't get. I'm not, it's not a game spare of game of who, who guess who's the right answer. No, it's, the law is only one 80 kilometers. You cannot drive more than 80 kilometers an hour. Now, question write this. These are things I'm teaching you. This is not, I'm just, it's not some video going on. You must write this on this last, the last minute question. Secondly, can you take passengers in the meanwhile as you have a spare tire? Yes, you can. Can you go on autostrada? Yes, you can. You can go on autostrada. You can have passengers, but you cannot drive more than 80, and you have to change in a couple of days' time. Okay, now after having said all that, let's move on. C'è la nostra rotta di scorta. Dentro c'è di solito strumentazione che si può togliere così facilmente. Questo è meglio toglierlo, così saremo più comodi quando lavoreremo. Now, one more thing very important is uh, you don't require strength. A very tiny, fragile lady can do this alone without anybody's help. Okay. So remember, it, it, it's a question of technique. Remember, it's not the power, not the strength of your muscles, but the technique. Don't use any effort. Look what it does. Il nostro pneumatico sarà saldato al telaio in modo che non si muove quando circoliamo. Quindi di solito c'è questa rotella. So you see, just roll it, don't lift it, roll it, don't use effort where it's not necessary. Dobbiamo cercare di non fare mai fatica. Facciamola sempre rotolare. Siamo pronti per sostituirla. Adesso andiamo a fare una zoomata, vederla bene da vicino. 
ci saranno delle cose da sapere. Dobbiamo sapere se il nostro pneumatico ha un cerchio in lega o un copricerchio. Ormai la maggior parte delle case... Cerchio in lega è the inner part of the wheel that is metal is called cerchio in lega and the plastic that covers on top is called the copricerchio. Okay, I'm just giving you these terms. Cerchio in lega is the, the metal part of the rubber tires, in the inner part, and the cover on top is called copricerchio. Sorry, sir. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. You can ask me a okay, question. What, okay, what about uh, as it's changing the tire? Does it have to put any sand on the road to let people okay, know that there's problem or she's doing one or two things? If you are changing the tire, you must put that, the triangle. The road side. The road yeah. side, you put it on the road before, before changing the tire. That is understood. Is it, is it the front or the back? The back side or the front side? Back, back. You want to walk. You want to go on the cars behind you, not the cars in front of you. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, uh, and I, I also tell you exactly the position, how to keep it. Se dovessimo avere un copricerchio, sarà di plastica, sarà semplicissimo, basterà toglierlo, scoperchiarlo e sotto ci saranno eh, le viti da togliere. Nel caso di cerchi in lega, oggi eh, i cerchi in lega hanno dei tappi sopra le viti da togliere, quindi dovremo togliere anche questo. E poi i nostri tappi che non ci fanno vedere le viti da togliere. Eh, dobbiamo togliere i tappi per farlo nella nostra strumentazione abbiamo un dispositivo di plastica come questo con una pinzetta che si infila e toglie semplicemente i tappi ecco a questo punto vediamo le viti nelle autovetture moderne Noteremo che abbiamo quattro o cinque. Una di queste quattro è diversa dalle altre. Questa è la vite antifurto. Ma c'è una special kind of a bolt, a nut, that is against anti-theft. Anti-furto means anti-theft. Because you know, very often in uh, various parts of Italy, it's quite dangerous. You, you park your car, when you come back, you find uh, bricks, are, bricks below your tires, and tires are gone. And they, they rob your tires because they're quite expensive. So there is a special uh, nut that is different than the other. And that, the key, a special, that only you have inside the car. So they can't steal your tires, okay? Quindi nella strumentazione troveremo un altro dispositivo, che è questo, che ci consentirà di togliere anche la vita antifuncia con questo dispositivo. A questo punto penserete sia il momento del crimine. Now this jack, this is called crick. This one, no? this jack is called crick. Please remember C R I C crick. So remember what he's saying. For first, we will use the weight of the car to keep the wheel steady. And we'll just loosen the nuts. The nuts will be just loosening them. Okay, we'll not take them out, just loosen it because it's easy for you to turn around when the, when the car is fixed over there, does not move. Okay. Prendiamo la chiave, la posizioniamo. And even here, you will not use force, you will use your own body weight. Use your own body weight to turn the nuts around with what he's doing. That's why I said, even a fragile, thin lady who's not very strong can change the tire without the help of any person. La prima vite. A questo punto penserete ci vorrà un sacco di forza. In realtà basterà andare col piede, perché con le mani sarà dura, e ci alziamo con tutto il peso del corpo. Quindi sfruttiamo il peso del corpo per dare i primi giri alla vite. In questo modo. Ecco qua. Basta mezzo giro, un giro. E partiamo l'operazione sulle altre viti. Tutte quelle che non hanno la vita antifurto che dicevamo prima. Io su questa gomma ho quattro viti, quindi questa operazione la posso fare sulle prime tre. La quarta vite, che è quella antifurto che dicevamo prima, applicare questa, 
abbiamo bisogno del nostro dispositivo. Lo inseriamo nella vita anti furto e giriamo fino a quando è bloccato completamente. A questo punto si può togliere l'arte. Quindi, diamo il primo giro anche all'ultima vite. In questo momento abbiamo svitato le quattro viti, ma la ruota chiaramente è Allora, apriamo il click. Ok, now this is click. It's called click. Now the click will not be put at any point of the vehicle. There is a special tooth, like a small area, which is got like a small wing. You have to put exactly below every, close to every four tires. So obviously you will put your crick just close to the tire you're trying to change. You will not put on the other side of the car or on the front field, only on the exactly close to it. And there's especially at that aleta, a special place where you have to position where it can bear the whole weight of the car, okay? Andiamo i primi giri, non troppo. E se ci facciamo caso, nella parte centrale del cri c'è una conca. Okay? Qui dovrà eh, alloggiare una letta di ferro che troviamo sotto il telaio. Ecco qui la nostra letta di ferro. Niente. So that is a small aletta, means a wing of metal. In un minuto, con la sua parte che dovrà andare a contatto. Sono qua. Andiamo a contatto e cominciamo a girare. Controlliamo che la base sia ben fatta a terra. <ride> Solleviamo la macchina fino a quando il pneumatico si stacca completamente dal suolo. E calcolate di avere almeno un dito e mezzo per essere poi comodo quando andremo a sostituire la gomma. Così può andare bene. So it should be just enough to be raised from the ground. A couple of two, two fingers above the ground is enough. Don't have to go all the way on top, yeah? Per togliere il pneumatico dobbiamo togliere completamente le viti che abbiamo già cominciato a sentire. At this point you can remove the, you can continue uh, moving the nuts and then take it out now. Now it's easy, okay. Quindi con la nostra chiave, teniamo in senso anti-orario. Saranno molto leggeri, infatti si può girare anche con un dito. Anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. Per l'ultima chiave, per l'ultima vite, quella con il sistema antifurto, chiaramente avremo bisogno del nostro dispositivo che abbiamo visto prima. Però le viti sono talmente molli che addirittura si possono svitare anche a mano. Ecco qua. Possiamo togliere il nostro pneumatico. Ricordiamoci di non fare mai sforzi perché tanto è inutile, quindi lo tiriamo fuori e lo facciamo rotolare. A questo punto montiamo sulla gomma. Chiaramente giriamo finché vediamo i buchi. Ecco qua il ferro. I primi giri li diamo pure a mano. Tanto non ci serve per ora questa grande forza. La gomma adesso è su, ma chiaramente bisogna stringerlo. Now, you see this yellow sticker over there? And now it's just, uh, uh, the, the wheel is on top. Now even here you will just move it with your fingers and not fix it over there because it will keep on moving otherwise. So just uh, loosely put inside. Allora, prima di calare con il, il trick uh, autovettura, diamo i primi giri con la chiave. A mano, non troppo forti. Diciamo con la forza che abbiamo. Ultima, sempre con il nostro dispositivo antifurto. Adesso la gomma è su, non è ancora finito, però eh, è abbastanza stabile. È stabile da poter sopportare il peso della macchina, quindi possiamo scendere con il click. It's not fixed, but can bear the weight of the car. Vediamo il click. 
di senso antiorario, come quando, lo vedremo tra poco, diventa molle sotto, quindi lo possiamo togliere. Infine, stringiamo le nostre viti. Utilizziamo la stessa tecnica di prima, quella del peso del corpo, che abbiamo utilizzato per svitare, ora la utilizziamo per abitare, chiaramente il senso orario. Quindi mettiamo la nostra chiave. This time clockwise, to tighten now. Now that the fill is on the floor, tighten the nuts, and this time use your weight again, but clockwise. Remember to unroll is anti-clockwise and to put it, fix it back again clockwise. Sentite dei rumori, è normale. L'ultima vite, chiaramente, col dispositivo. Ok. That, that's about but basically you've seen it how it works and so this is all i've underlined the most important things that will eventually be asked in the quiz okay so you know how the tires have changed should we have quiz questions regarding that you will be able to answer better now <clears throat> now moving on for uh we still have some time so we can carry on Quante per, quando le persone, i hope any questions that you need to ask about that you may ask now remain silent forever quando le persone anziane, a persone anziane means uh, elderly people, okay, senior citizens. When they are attraversare la carreggiata, when they are crossing the road, bisogna tenere presenti, must bear in mind che hanno riflessi più rapidi, bear in mind that they have very quick reflex, rapid reflexes, reaction time, e quindi attraversano con più accortezza. They, they cross the road with much more, much more understanding, they are more mature in doing that crossing the road it's false they don't have so much understanding at that age they are not quick also in responding so it's false persone anziane perito della strada a wounded person of the road si è ustionato ustionato means hasan kamra and ask you tomorrow do you know what ustionato means abdullah will tell you ustionato means abdullah uh, it's like burn If he has burned, he's been burning, okay? he's, he's, got, he's got fire and he's burning, it's called ustionato. Bisogna disinfectare la bruciatura con alcol. You must disinfect the burn wound with alcohol. So if anybody was burned in their life ever before, you know how much, how much pleasure you will get by alcohol on top of the burn wounds. So it's, don't do that, yeah? That will be tortured. So it's falso. Valore, the... the, the tell me. Okay, okay, I'll ask you question. You can't, you can't, yeah. You, you cannot put water, it's only this No, it's not saying water. You can put water on the cold water. Are you hearing me? You can't put alcohol. Okay. You should not put alcohol, you can put cold water. That's a very good idea. Okay, okay, okay. So it's cold water. Good, uh, uh, good that you asked the question. If anybody can put your mic on and ask if you want. Distance and sicurezza means the safety distance that you have to maintain with the car ahead of you. Da mantenere da una macchina spandatrice di sale. Now, when there is a snowfall on the road, there are two types of cars will go. One, macchina sgombra neve means a machine that throws away the snow from the road. And immediately afterwards, a car, a vehicle goes and spreads salt on the road. It goes like this. It goes on the floor, it spreads salt like that. And that salt melts the remaining of the ice also there. So it becomes all dry. And between, when you're driving a car, if you have a car that is putting the snow away or a car that is spreading salt, from both these cars, you must keep at least 20 meters of safety distance. And this is Vero, okay? Both macchina sgombra neve, macchina spandatrice di sale, both of them, if you're driving behind, you must make sure that it's 20 meters ahead of you, not closer. Okay? This is vero. In azione 20 metri. Spazio totale di arresto. Spazio totale di arresto means what? First of all, write down this, and I'll tell you afterwards, and I'll expect you to be able to explain to me tomorrow or day after when I ask you. Now, uh, Charles, yeah. everybody 
tomorrow onwards tomorrow i will yeah. not teaching i will be asking questions so those people who have gone and others like stanley or jude or anybody who's new will have to just listen and and keep on listening remember even if you don't understand a lot your brain is still remembering it is listening yeah. and that's why i'm letting you know today is a slow class tomorrow will be a little bit faster and i will ask people to ask questions and then we will be saying vero faster vero faster tomorrow so there are two days where i teach and two days where i ask questions that way both the, slow, the new ones and the old ones have equal advantage pass your tutorial the rest so it can write this the last thing i'll teach you for today which means total space of arrest what does that mean Can you say that I write it down? Sorry? What do you say it means? The meaning? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm showing it to you. I'm showing it with the drawing. Spartan to tell the arresto means what? Jude, you are sitting in the car over here, okay? And you saw as you are driving, suddenly, suddenly a day, I say always, a lightning hit a tree and it's fall on the road. And you were driving, you said, oh my God, and you put your foot on the brake. But Jude, to react you required like a second but during that time your car had already moved so the space you have covered in the time that it took you to react is called spazio percorso nel tempo di reazione the space you covered in the time of reacting if if that is 5 meters okay so it took you so much to put your foot on the brake <clears throat> dude when you put your foot on the brake the car does not stop immediately otherwise your body would throw out of the window the car takes its time to stop so that is the brake distance of the car it's called spazio di frenatura brake distance <laughs> the distance your car covered in trying to stop the car so if that is 10 meters so if i ask you jude what is spazio totale di arresto that is the space that you for the first time saw the danger and that your car actually stopped that means 5 meters plus 10 meters 15 meters okay that is called spazio totale di arresto have you understood hasan kamran ehitamen all of you uh could you please repeat that again so if you are, hasan is driving the car yeah, yeah, yeah. you suddenly see okay let's see yes, this I understand. So good day the nice that they understood now again you are sitting in the car here kamran hasan Suddenly, you see a lightning hit a tree. The tree fell down here. So you said, oh, uh, there is a danger. And suddenly, you put your foot on the brake. But the car had already reached over here. In one second, that time, you saw the danger and you reacted. The car had already gone like five meters. I'm just giving five meters as an example. So the five meters was the space you covered in the time you needed to react. It's called... Now, if that was five meters, when you put your foot on the brake, the car does not stop immediately. It, it goes all the way so much to stop the car because it, there is an inertia. The car moves ahead. So if that should be 10 meters, it's called spazio di frenatura. So if I ask you, Hassan Kamran, what is your total space of arrest? Is the space when you first saw the space that the car covers in the time that you saw the danger and your car actually came to the stop that means from here to here and how much is this 5 plus 10 15 that is a total space of arrest the reaction time plus the brake space is this clear now everybody sure. okay yeah, it's clear. very good so that is spazio totale di arrest so in the last sentence says Non dipende dalla velocità, does not depend on the velocity and the speed. It's false, so it does depend upon the velocity you're driving in, okay? So that was the class of today. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll meet each other tomorrow again, on Friday at 5.30. Arrivederci. Bye. 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 Bye.